To get started on Kristen's beautiful look, I'm going to use my NYX eyeshadow base in Nude. And then I'm going to also use my Maybelline eyeliner in black as a base for the dark blue eyeshadow that I'll be applying after this step. And then I will be flipping it over and smudging it out with the smudge brush that it comes with. And I will be carrying it underneath my waterline and smudging it out as well. Here I'm taking this really pretty dark blue color for my second edition BH Cosmetics palette and putting it all over my eyelid. She did not go past her crease, she kept it nice and clean and simple and left it all over her eyelid. Using my precision brush and the same blue, I'll be applying this on top of the black eyeliner. Using this beautiful matte brown from the same palette, I'll be applying it all over my crease to blend in the blue better and putting it on top of my brow bone. She had a hint of purple on top of the blue on her waterline, so taking an eyeliner brush, that's where I'll be applying it. Now you want to take the same black eyeliner that you used and you want to apply this to the waterline just to make the look a little darker. Taking my Ulta Pearl Shimmer Powder, I'll be applying this to the middle area of my eyelid and that was one of my favorite parts about Kristen's look. Prepping my eyelashes for my fake lashes, I'll be applying my Maybelline Mega Plush Volume Express Mascara on the top and the bottom eyelashes. Taking these amazingly comfortable eyelashes by Ardell, these are the Natural 110 in Black. You want to apply some eyelashes because this look is kind of dark, you can lose your natural eyelashes. So that's why I decided to add these and it looked like Kristen had some eyelashes on as well. Now to really darken the look. I promise I won't say that anymore, but you're going to want a tight line. Now that the glue is nice and dry, you want to apply another coat to the top and bottom lashes. Now for the last step, you want to apply a thin line of eyeliner. We all make mistakes. Here I noticed that the eyeliner was a little too thick, so I added a little bit more blue to my look just to make the eyeliner noticeable, but barely noticeable because her eyeliner was really thin, so I had to retouch. But now that I did that, I fixed it and everything turned out great. I hope you guys enjoyed this Kristen Stewart Kids Choice Awards 2013 look that she wore on the red carpet and I will talk to you guys in my next video.